Disney needs no introduction. All the characters and stories from Disney have helped to define generations of entertainment and have provided us with all of the heroes and villains that our imagination could desire. Disney Arena on the PC brings all of these characters together under one digital roof, pitching famous faces from all across the Disney catalog against each other in an epic turn-based RPG game. If you grew up with Disney, this is definitely a game for you. So, without any further ado, let's first see how to actually install and play the game. First things first, I have to say that the best way to play in Disney Arena is of course by playing on Bluestacks. So, if you haven't already installed, just pop over to the Bluestacks official website to download and install the latest version of our app. Once you've got all of that started, search for Disney Arena in the top right corner of Bluestacks home screen. Now, click on it and download it directly from the Google Store, just like you would on your smartphone. And after the installation is complete, you can launch the game by clicking on its icon on the blue stacks home screen. And with that, you're all set in just a few minutes. As with many games of this nature, there are multiple sections to Disney Arena, each with its own style of challenges and they are all unlocked at different levels. And all of these game arenas from the Sorcerer's Tournament to the Club Dungeon can be seen on the main landing page of the game. However, to begin with, I strongly recommend for you to start with the basics, which can provide you a backbone to the gameplay and mechanics of Disney Arena. So the grand campaign Form the basis for the storyline as you begin your quest. Here, battle consists of turn-based attacks with you in control of your team, and of course the game controlling your opponent. And it's up to you who your heroes will attack and which of their abilities they can use. Some characters can taunt enemies into only attacking them, where others can heal your team. Make sure you know what everyone can do before you charge into battle, because simply using one wrong skill can make all the difference between winning and losing the game. And here, the rewards can vary, from currency to level of potions and occasionally characters tokens, which once enough have been collected, can be used to recruit new characters to your team, as we are about to see. The best thing about Cheesy Arena is that you can play with beloved characters from your childhood. However, you won't get your favorite heroes from the very beginning, as you need to farm for them. Beyond the initial recruits you get from the tutorial, it's up to you to earn characters tokens and unlock new characters from across the Disney universe. And these tokens can be earned, bought or found in a number of different ways. So always keep an eye out for them as you play through the game. And even if you get a token from a character you already have, don't despair, as they can be used to promote heroes and make them more powerful on the battle. In fact, there are multiple ways in that you can improve your team. Aside from promoting, characters can also be leveled up by using level of potions and they can be equipped with various types of gear that boost their stats. So always make sure to keep your characters at the top of their game. And as you make your way through the arena, your opponents will only get stronger, so your team needs to be up to the challenge. Oh yeah, that brings us to the end of another video. Make sure to share with us in the comment section below what's your favorite character from the Disney Saucer Arena so far. But that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and bye bye.